Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Diaries of Death, World of Warcraft Hardcore. My name is Aiken and today we're continuing the playthrough with our Frost Mage. Um, I have done a couple of chores, mainly uh, the quest to get uh, cooking up to 300, getting the artisan there. Then, secondly, leveling alchemy quite a bit, and uh, thirdly, <coughs> getting the heavy mage weave bandages, all of which will help us in the long run. Unfortunately, the artisan stuff costed around 20 gold pieces, so we are now, yet again, a peasant uh, that needs to walk. However, we got a lot of quests here, uh, potentially like a dozen-ish. Oh yeah, and I've been to the hint uh, hinterlands uh, just getting the fight uh, there. So we have uh, nearly a dozen uh, quests here. And all we need to do is just do all of them. Uh, so without further ado, we are going to start with uh, Water Pouch Bounty as well as Wastewater uh, Justice, which is a nice du a duplet there since uh, Tenaris is super wide and offers lots and lots and lots of space to get away. I'll be rocking mage armor, uh, mage armor instead of the usual ice armor. So, and with our first quest, really what we would want to look out for is make sure that we always have an escape route, but that is not difficult. Plus there are no trees in the way, so really what we can do is get a little bit zoomed out and dialed in. These guys here need to be killed and they also have pouches, so that's what we're going to do uh, first and foremost. Soon we're level 44 by the way, which I think I will love, but I believe um, we're getting a new frostbolt, which would be nice. Um, speaking of which, level uh, 44, as I reaching it, um, I looked at the statistics and level 41 is the point where only 1% of all players are reaching that uh, level. And ever since I have that uh, on, even when I'm just normally traveling yesterday evening, I traveled and found out uh, that I think six players died in the span of about half an, uh, half an hour ish. So in all of them, by the way, level yeah, tw below level 20, mostly level zero to 10 and then below level 20. So point in case uh, the game really thins out once you're in the later stages and yeah, I, I doubted the statistics at the beginning, but now I think they are actually pretty accurate. Uh, over 8,000 uh, death have been recorded, and that is uh, the outcome. Uh, this troll is trolling me. Let's go uh, to the other location. All right, I hope <coughs> that we can at least cheer the bandits here. guys uh, likely don't drop the pouches. Oh no, they can. They can actually. This one mob there is bugged. That's not great. And there are quite a few caster mobs, so no wonder that <coughs> he didn't want to do uh, this part here. Alright, so let's uh, take a little bit of normal rotation. This guy is an equal uh, level um, enemy who even reaches. Our crit chance is now over 30%. Uh, 
frozen targets, so that is huge. Good. I'll fast forward uh, this here just a little bit. Good. Dinged level 44. Very good. Now we're over 40% uh, crit chance with our spells. When the targets are frozen. So, down here, almost a 50 50. One more point, and we are actually over 50% uh, with a crit chance. <coughs> that will be awesome. Soon uh, we're ending that's in frost, although I love deep frost builds. I think we need a few more points, but that's going to happen soon. Good. Just found <coughs> the name Caliph uh, Storp uh, Scorpion Stinger. Gave himself uh, the title of Cleave, he's not really one. Yeah. These little assassins won't make any difference here. the head of the cleave and instead of just wasting my uh, mana crystal you know what why not Fabulous. Moving on, continuing the grind. All right, so we are done over here, and we're now going into <coughs> the most dangerous part: cave system full of fire. What could be worse? Well, some things could be worse, I assume, but it's pretty damn bad. Um, cave systems by themselves are not good. Uh, not enough uh, movement uh, space, so. I start with Frost Armor. And then there are quite a few enemies in here. Oh, it was Ferrua Cave System. Never mind. But I still stand. This doesn't look like a place uh, where we can easy peasy grind through them. Let's take a look at uh, them. <coughs> they do have the strike ability. These guys here are the ninth deadliest mob tenaris. So better be careful. And someone else wants my attention. We will need a small break here. All right, back needed to take care of my family. So we are back with uh, the South Sea Freebooters. It's going to be an interesting experience. I remember this very, very well. I used to uh, AOE grind here in this camp. I a little bit higher level though. And our job is to kill 10 of them. Uh, pirates, as well as a few free players. And co uh, collect pirate heads. So this is pretty much a grinding quest as far as I'm concerned. 
Kill two or three, drink, rinse, ride, uh, rinse and repeat. Good, we made it into the camp and it is more populated than I thought. A couple of uh, alliance mages are here as well. So, as always, let's just clear everything before we go for the ma uh, named boss there. having a horse already. It's just me. Well, buddy, good luck. Nice little AOE farming. Keeps all the mobs tagged. We're going, you know what? We're going to do something else in the meantime. Right in there. It's a quest. Uh, no. And called the stone shipment. So let's just get that. Whilst this mage is enjoying his uh, 50 kills. Pretty damn good for yeah, I need all of the mana in order to get him down. I think my health can handle it. We're still planning to go in there. Good, let's clear outside. The problem with the AoE farming is it also triggers hyper spawns because the game wants others to also have quests and quest the boss. It's all of a sudden you're in that weird position when with there a mage is killing 10x mobs over here with a few respawn. So we gotta be careful. and then moving in. Oh, rare mob. Interesting. Crack Keel Hall. They went all out on the names of this one. Good. Of course, a low chance for us to get something, but that's a nice set of um, 
a nice uh, set of shoulders just not for us Sometimes the game just is what it is. That's hyper respawning I talked about. another respawn just you can't really catch a break here I'm aware that looting will trigger faster respawns, but I also need to get in here. There is the stolen shipment. And off we go. Fantastic. Anything else clickable? No. Very good. So I'll continue the grind. All right. Fabulous. So we got most of the stuff. It is time uh, for Andre, who is wanted. So might have been it now. That is tragic. Ready to get Andre. Another <laughs> now we're going to sheep and pull him.
very good. Or not so much, not great mana management. I'm going to have a tough time getting through. like using avocation here I'll just sit it out and uh, regenerate uh, the old-fashioned way I want to keep evocation just in case something is going wrong because we're not in the safest place and this year there is no respawn here I'll just sit it out all right 1500 should be enough to get this guy down It's interesting, right? Because I had my chance with Andre, uh, then I decided to chicken out because of one ad, and then I ended up uh, effectively putting two ads. Anyways, the only thing that we need now is a couple of dock workers and a few more pirate heads, and I think uh, that should be very much doable. So I'll just move over to the dock workers. Good, we made our way onto one of their ships to get the last few dock workers. These guys, luckily enough, only have head some ability. So we get a new mana shield, we get a new blizzard, and we get a new frost. We're down to 60 gold pieces. Holy schmucks. Am I ever going to be on the mount? Alright, we got the new spells, and boy, boy, look, the new one deals up to 320 damage and that is without spell power so just imagine spell power coming on top of that so that's going to be huge we'll be pretty far away than we did before time for us to hand in a few of our quests though so let's start first over here with the fresh water pouches Got ourselves a little care package. Thank you. That was helpful. Secondly, Caliph's Corporate Sting. A gold piece, 30 silver, and 60 silver from uh, the next uh, one, the follow up quest. So that's perfect. Divino uh, Metric Rod is a elite quest, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we have three more quests over shoreline which we're going to do now rather hand them in now all right after just a little bit of walking which crudely reminds me that i am not able to ride yet we're handing in the pirate's head for another uh, gold 30 that is fantastic increase the damage and healing done by spells oh wow this is good we're losing a little bit of losing just a little bit of stamina here but we're effectively gaining uh, more intelligence and that's eight more spell power 
mojo keys. We finally got the mojo, guys. That's a very awesome power thing to say, by the way. So, another quest over here. And we are going to trade in the last quest. For the stolen shipment. Fantastic. Follow up. Let's see what we need to do. Alrighty. So, I had a look and a lot of the quests are uh, going to be with more wastewater assassins and so on. So, there's a lot to kill over here. And in terms of other quests, I uh, don't think that we need this, by the way. In terms of other quests, uh, we do have a drop quest that we found, this little uh, beacon here, but I think since it's an escort quest, potentially a bit too difficult. Um, then this here is a booty bay delivery, which we could do. So yeah, it's just uh, those two for now until we're a little bit higher but that doesn't mean uh, that uh, we cannot do other uh, quests uh, the internet uh, are available uh, feralis is available if i'm not mistaken and a few other places should be there as well so we're going to go from quest hub to quest hub uh, at the moment it is Tenaris and uh, so far i'm having a blast i really like the region super easy to quest here Good. Plenty of enemies here. We're, we need to get those Shadow Mages down. And there are rogues, as you can see. So perfect timing now. Uh, to sheep them. Let's get rid of the minion. I don't like pet classes because uh, the pets are overtuned uh, for enemies they are hitting just as hard as a regular mob of that level so effectively you're always double pulled. Six hundred seventy holy schmokes well with our new uh, frost ball that was not a problem at all good this time we're working with the rogues in advance because I don't want to deal with that shit once they are um, effectively adding at 700 crit that is a really good DPS Minion also deals really good DPS. Fantastic. Unfortunately, you can't kill the Void Walker first because then they just resummon a new one. Very good. I think, guys, uh, that I'll just fast forward this because it's really just grinding them down. So, see you in a bit. All right, after handing in uh, the quests in Tenaris, I made the executive decision that now it is a good time to go to Feralis, which is just south of Desolé. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go just down here. And 
are going to take a new flight path. So, let me get there. Okie dokie. So, I took some time to walk to uh, Feralus and we got plenty of quests, man. Got a couple of ogre quests up here, which we're going to start with. Uh, then we got the uh, wood paw gnolls and a couple of uh, flying creatures that we need to hunt. Then a couple of ogres over here and yeti heights and that's just the first start man so uh, without further ado let's get uh, poppin i always liked feralis it is the more beautiful and better well uh, better maintained version of ashenvale whilst i like the climate in ashenvale just how it looks the look and feel uh, there's a distinct problem with uh, zooming out and not being able to see things. That is completely different here. As you can see, uh, just a few trees. Other than that, lush green landscape, open, lots of space uh, to kite. It's still a great atmosphere. So, from my perspective, a better zone. They should have done Ashenvale uh, that way. But, okay, whatever. It is what it is. We're starting with the Woodpaw Knolls. Critic for 700 men. Oh, yeah. You'll love to see it. And these guys will have mains that uh, we're going to collect slowly but surely. As you can see, within open zones where we do not have a lot of uh, threats. Uh, I'm always trying to minimize uh, the uh, frost armor and also the frost barrier and just plow away at it. Uh, of course, that's a bit more risky approach, but uh, one that pays off because I can kill four mobs in a row uh, with without really any break. Good, let's do that middle uh, section pull. Might be a triplet. Might be just a single, who knows. Just pulling this guy away so that he doesn't have uh, all of the uptime. That's the disadvantage of not having uh, frost armor. If you're pulling multiples, then you're, you will need to use a couple of cooldowns just to. Well, not cooldowns, but you will need to use a lot of resources just to uh, keep them away uh, from you. All right, I'll, I'm going to grind uh, this here. Uh, should be easy. I mean, it's just. 10 moss and that's about it good we got our uh, 10 tails and now it's time for some ogres these guys are fun i love ogres i love dire Maul, which is the dungeon here not only do we need to slay them we also need to mine some cobalt there we go so that's going to be our quest for now luckily with tools like questy you can relatively easily see where you need to mine uh, for it little ogre Magi is here. Oh, crit for 700. Good. 
at the end of the day we're just needing to dig wherever ogres are standing and we should be fine this area however is still one of the deadliest so we gotta be mindful of that people manage to die here When I say deadly, is I mean in the region. At this point in the game, I already mentioned we're down to less than one percent of uh, the player population, and it doesn't thin out much more. Yes, there are occasional death here and uh, there, uh, in and around 50s, obviously, but or in and around 40s as well, um, but. Uh, from here on from level 41 to level uh, 60 it quote-unquote just drops to 0.28 percent so one third one fourth of uh, the population which isn't as bad as uh, the initial drop Continuing to dig here. What I like about casters is they just don't have it. So once you can't dispel them. They really don't have that much more going for them. I think we can dig here. A little blue shimmer, I think, indicates that's the proper side. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. another shimmer here can we get multiple crystals apparently not nah it seems like there is one crystal per ogre and the rest is just stuff all right let's continue here are not that bad and by the way we have potentially one of the best classes to deal with the location because we can just simply jump down if need be We got a scroll here, which is yet another quest. And then this here looks a lot like an area where we can dig at our heart's content. Trouble.
Okay, let me take a wild guess. None of this has anything in it. No. All right, continuing on. Now that the shovel is hotkeyed, at least we're seeing whether or not the graves have some uh, relative release soon because we can dig just mas much faster. You're taking another scroll and I think over here we can dig. Cool, so you can indeed uh, dig multiple times depending on how many auras there are and then you can get your uh, get lucky with your cobalt ore good easy seven out of ten uh, seven out of twelve good ready a little bit careful with the response because we're standing in the middle of uh, the response and what we don't want to do uh, to happen is being attacked from both sides so one way of Dealing with that is to make sure that you're definitely single pulling, single pulling only, and then now we're uh, being safe because the spawns were here, and here and we could move back into this area. Pause safe is a relative term if they are wandering patrols. Good. And after that, I think I will fast forward the rest of the quests because you now know what the deal is. Last crystal, we're done with that. And we're done with the ogres. That was the last one. Uh, got the scrolls, by the way, this one here, the Gorduni scroll, also started the quest. So that one we will need to bring back as well. But we're not going back yet. First, we have a couple more quests. Next up, let's get the iridescent uh, sprite darter wing. Good, our targets are going to be sprite darters. And what I hate about them is they mana burn. Fairy dragons also have quite a high uh, list, as you can see. So it's not going to be a fun quest. And we need, I think, 10 wings. Oh, wonderful. They're not even dropping them every single time. Oh boy, that is going to be just. I will 
uh, do that uh, while not with you uh, watching through it uh, the entire time because that would be cruel. This is going to be a long, long grind. Let's go. Finally, we killed a lot of them. Luckily, these guys tend to drop them whenever they drop them in pairs, which is good. So Sprite Archer is done. Uh, next up, we're moving over to the Yetis and are going to get 10 thick Yeti hides. And then we're trading in quite a few quests for a super duper XP bomb, uh, which might even uh, get us all the way to level uh, 45. Okay, we have arrived. Needless to say, Yetis and a cave means a bit more of a dangerous task. However, there's also an escort here while you follow up, which is infamous for spawning, I think, 30 or 4 of them at the same time. So, yeah, they can progress if you're not, if you're not careful. So, I remember that part quite well. Our job here will be to just drive all of them down, maybe a couple in in the caves, but be overall careful. No need to take any risks. You can easily get them one by one. Good, so I'll fast forward until the time uh, when we have 10 Yeti hides. The dozen corpses of dead Yetis are lying silent witness to our destruction. We have gotten 10 belts. Now it's time for a big fat XP bomb. We're starting by recording to Tenaris, actually, where we do have another quest to trade in right over here, before then flying uh, back to Feralis. I uh, just wanted to get our quest diary empty. So let's do that. Fabulous. First quest. Let's trade that in. Get a nice little follow up quest. All right. Yet another quest. Ah, both of them are not good. And another quest trade in here. And another one right here, more in the wood far. Follow up quest. Trade in yet another quest. And finally, we got a couple of over. Just by doing all of that, we XP bombed ourselves 20% up. That was a huge influx of experience. But we sell the stuff that we don't need and then we'll take it from there. All right, off to round number two. We need to get 20 Grim Totem Horns and then five Wood Paw Alphas. Uh, so that's going to be our first uh, thing. And then more Ogres, quite a little bit more Ogres actually and go all the way through here we are starting with the totems and these guys here are more dangerous you can see four of the is happening.
I'll fast forward that as is per the usual because it's just grinding. And we dinged fabulous. Uh, got chatter five out of five, so we're now at 50 plus percent uh, crit chance against frozen targets. That's what we like to see. Oh, it's fantastic. Lovely. Really good. I'm almost done with uh, the. Uh, with the uh, totemists here, the grim totemists. So let me finish that and then we're off to the next quest. Good, we're back to waterfalls. We need to get these waterfalls down. Of course they are off camps, so no easy way of reaching them on the land. destroying every single one around them. That's a nice cloak. 11 stamina. Uh, I still like our cloak a little bit better. I still like our cloak a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, potentially more devotes. Good. So, I'll kill a couple of these guys. We just need to have five down, and then we're done with that. Good. We're done with the um, with the quest. We do only have, or we did only have thirty minutes for the alphas uh, to be killed, uh, which is why we're um, handing it in because we have a couple of other uh, quests that are also going, and I don't want to be under time pressure. On top of which, uh, we found the OOX Distress Beacon. Remember when I said in the Yeti Cave that there's a hard that there's a hard uh, quest uh, where you have to escort something? That is exactly it. Not sure if I will uh, do it. That's uh, rather difficult one specifically at uh, my level i mean it's evenly leveled but uh, the quest itself is not to be underestimated all right handing in uh, the first quest and then we'll go for our further questing and given that we are already more than an hour into this episode i would say we're just calling it a day here continuing our Feralis, uh play through the next time there's a lot that we've uh, done which is which is good uh, worked out very well um, and we've made it to level 45 super uh, now it's more matter of uh, doing the remaining quests and maybe we can find ourselves a group for Zulfarag uh, that would be fun as well all right uh, with that being said Thanks a lot uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Diaries of Death. If you did uh, so, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.